I mean, what would be most useful for you in our conversation today? Um, I'm just starting uh, the LSAT process, trying to go to law school. I've always had it in my head, but I just, and I know like, okay, there are four sections to the LSAT and like the basic stuff, but I guess just tips on being efficient, um, just to address studying while having like a, a job and just being just getting my practice test in. I could do that. You know, everybody can set it up, but I don't know, just efficient tips on how to be efficient with my time studying. Sure. So when are you taking the LSAT? Do you have a test date in mind? October is what I was thinking. Nice. Awesome. So you got plenty of time. Yeah. But since it's for, you know, I haven't been, I've been out of college for a minute now or for like six years, mm-hmm. six, eight, six years. And so I'm like, uh, I don't know if I have the same, but so that's why I'm, I'm trying to start earlier. Right. And what other obligations do you have between now and October? Um, I'm currently a flight attendant. So I'm just like, gone all the time but also it's great because I have layover time I have like some you know not your typical nine to five so I have all these other time it's like you know little block, block, blocks of time that I could just either should I be doing reading comprehension should I be like doing logic games on my on my while I wait for my plane or like you know just so I have time I don't really have my this year I'm like focusing on trying to get a good score so I can not have the stress of loans if I sure. could get yeah. Have you checked out my study plans? I have not st- seen all of them, no. Okay, because the study plans, they, le- they lay out for you exactly what to be doing every single day over the course of your prep. So yeah. they'll tell you, on this day, read these articles, complete these practice problems. Okay. So they remove all the ambiguity about what to do. They lay it out for you day by day. Oh, that's good. So I would start there. And the underlying framework of these plans is what I call the LASER approach to LSAT studying. Mm -hmm. So LASER is an acronym standing for learning, accuracy, sections, exams, and review. Mm -hmm. Bottom line is you want to learn the theory, build a baseline familiarity with different question types and sections before you do time to work. Okay. The nice thing for you is that if you have a layover, you have a good block of time, down the line, you could use that block for a timed section or even a full-length timed exam, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. Good idea. I like that. That's great. But for now, at least, build the foundation first. Just get a good understanding of the questions untimed first. Okay. Focus on accuracy first. So learning is theory. Mm -hmm. Accuracy is doing individual questions by type. S is for sections, 35-minute timed sections. E is for exams and endurance, which is those full-length five section exams, and then R is for review. So that's the laser approach. Okay, cool. Okay. And you'll also want to get your hands on plenty of old, previously administered LSAT exams. Okay. Most of them are available in books of 10 on Amazon for about 20, 25 bucks each. And so I would get at least one of those for now, and that mm-hmm. way you could travel with it. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.